This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. As many of you probably already know, I was on holiday when Island Living on The Sims 4 was released, so I've only just started playing it, and I'm loving it so far. This is my first house I've created. I really love the off the grid items and the fact that you can live off the grid now. I know that is a base game feature, so that isn't actually in this pack, but I really wanted to build like a beach themed off the grid house for my sim who is going to be a mermaid. If you don't already know, off the grid means that your sims don't have electricity or plumbing, so they don't have to pay the bills for these. So you can set that trait in the house lots trait when you're building. So that is what I did with this house. It was quite tricky actually because some items didn't say they were off the grid and then other ones did say they were off the grid and you thought, why is that off the grid? But this is the finished house. I really love it. I love the pier. I love the views on Solani. It's such a beautiful island. And I've only just really started playing this expansion pack. So I know there's so much more still to explore. So let's head inside this house. Now you can see the washing line outside. This is because no tumble dryers are allowed if we're living off the grid. So this is the entrance corridor and on the left hand side we have a room. So you can see it better here from this angle. So in here we have our washing tub. So again, no washing machines are allowed. And we've also got a little florist bench in there too because they need something to do now they don't have a TV to watch. So this leads into the main room here. We have a kitchen, we have a dining table. This is also the bedroom and the living area. We see it from this angle, we can see the kitchen area. We have lots of candles. It didn't say they were off the grid, but they are candles, so I think they are allowed. Over there we have a scuba diving closet, which every sim needs if they're living by the ocean. This is the bedroom over here. So again, there's a few more candles going on. And there's a gorgeous view outside. So I wanted to open it up because there's not many lights in here and it's quite dark. So I opened most of it up with these large windows around. They are from this expansion pack. I really love those shutters, they're gorgeous. The only room that's not open up is the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, it's quite small. No bath because they don't work off the grid, but for some reason that toilet was off the grid. I don't really understand that. It seemed like the cheap sink, toilet and shower were off the grid. I wanted to use the bush. I was gonna use the bush, but I thought I can't really put a bush in a bathroom. But, oh well. It did say it was off the grid, so we're going with that. I love this area over here, this is my favourite part of the house. So they've got this little nook in the corner so they can sit and read and it's just gorgeous. I love those chairs. The design team did a fabulous job with the items in this expansion pack. There's some great patterns going on as well. So let's head outside now and this is our little um, pier area. So we've got some sun lounges out here. They've covered with a shaded area. A little seating area too. And there's a boat, obviously. You need a boat if you're gonna live here. And there's also a bonfire out there. Just gotta be careful that we don't set the pier at light. I really love this build. It was quite challenging actually trying to make sure that everything was off the grid I think everything is it was quite difficult because it didn't actually say for most things like that toilet I don't know why that is off the grid but it did say it was I think they really need to have a category just for off the grid items like when you drop down and select like which pack you want to get items from they really need to be one for off the grid it would make it so much easier to be able to build a suitable house thanks for watching Bye!